Holy moly. Wow. We're Alicia and Jared, and we've been traveling the world full time for the last 12 years. After more than a decade on the road, we've now come back to Australia and bought a camper van to explore more of our home country. Subscribe to our channel and follow our journey as we seek out Australia's best landscapes and adventures while living the van life. We're here in Huskisson, one of the main towns in Jervis Bay along the beautiful south coast of New South Wales. This place was most famous for whale watching, beautiful beaches and turquoise waters. So the sun has just come out for us in Jervis Bay. We're finally getting some nice weather, even though it's been beautiful just chilling out in the overcast weather. But now we're going to explore the beaches. Where our first beach is called Himes Beach, is that correct? Yeah. So we're on our way to Himes Beach and this is our first one where we're going to see the turquoise water and the white sand. beautiful day here in Jervis Bay and we've decided to come down to Himes Beach which is known for having some of the whitest sand in all of Australia and we haven't actually seen the sand yet we're walking through the forest to get there but I've got a feeling it's gonna be pretty amazing so you guys are going to see the sand at the same time as us very exciting might even get in the water are you gonna get in the water leash maybe Ooh. <laughs> oh stop it So I brought the drone down here, but two things about Jervis Bay. Most of the area is actually in a military airfield, so you can't legally fly here. I'm not going to do that, but the other thing is even if you wanted to fly, it's a big ass <laughs> Navy ship right there. Probably not a good idea to go buzzing a drone around those guys. I think that's guys. a full no-no. That is a definite no for drone flying here at Hines Beach. So we tried to get out to Point Perpendicular Lighthouse, but we've timed it pretty wrong because the uh, military base that's out there is currently doing some weapons testing. Yeah. I'm sure that information is online, but we really just couldn't <laughs> we be just bothered to check. We didn't actually realize, but that's okay because we found out there's a little beach super close by to here called Currakong. And we just got here and it's sensational. Of course it is because all the beaches on the south coast of New South Wales are pretty magical. So. Going to go for a little bit of a hike, see what we can find out on this headland and then we'll probably cruise on back to town at some point, but first, beach time. So if you come out to Beecroft Headland, there's a couple of different walks you can do. Uh, there's a longer nine kilometer one. We're gonna do the shorter two and a half K wreck walk. It goes up past an Aboriginal rock shelter, which is gonna be very fascinating. I'm looking forward to that. And I think it goes out to Whale Rock as well and just a few other coastal viewpoints. And you go through all this beautiful Australian native bushland. And on a day like today, all the ferns are glowing green. Super beautiful. Look at that. I feel like things are a bit more greener because over the last couple of days we've had a little bit of rain so it's just rejuvenated everything and it just oh, it looks beautiful we're gonna do this little walk here but first we're gonna see a rock shelter an aboriginal rock shelter
The Abraham Bosom's rock shelter has been used by the Aboriginal people for 1,900 years as a campsite and also a place of these to come and cook and repair all their fishing and hunting gear. And it's really amazing that the people here in Shoalhaven have protected the area mm. because you have artifacts in there, things like shells and tools and bones that they've used to carve out for fishing hooks and things like that. And there's also evidence of campfire as well, ashes over the years. One of the best things about the Shoalhaven region down here in the south coast of New South Wales is they're really embracing the Aboriginal culture and heritage down here and they're trying to protect all the sites and provide as much information as possible for all the Indigenous history that they have here. So big thumbs up to the Shoalhaven Tourism Board and the governments here for doing their part to protect Australian culture and heritage. If you come out on the wreck walk, you make it out to Whale Rock, which is where I'm standing now, I think. Uh, and they call it Whale Rock because you can stand here and hopefully things are going your way. You'll see some humpback whales migrating during the winter time. So I'm gonna do a little bit of that, but it's also called the wreck walk because the wreck of the SS Marimbula is out here and it kind of ran aground in a storm in 1928 and the ruins of it are still here. And I'm just kind of wandering around trying to find them. Uh, if you come out here during low tide, you can walk right out into the rocks, which is cool. And uh, yeah, see if we can find it. Such an epic morning here in Jervis Bay and we're very lucky because we're off to do some whale watching. Yay! We've heard the whales are in the area. We'll see if we can see some today. So, one of the main things to do when you get down here to Jervis Bay is of course go check out the humpback whales because they cruise on by the coastline here on their migratory journey from Antarctica. And uh, here's the boat now. After that epic whale watching tour, we decided to go out on the mangrove boardwalk and check out what the beautiful views were out there. It's well worth checking out, going right out to the edge of the bay. And if you're interested in it, make sure you stop by the museum and walk around the grounds because they are beautiful and very interesting. After all that walking, we headed to the Jervis Bay Brewery, which is the best place to grab a beer in the entire town. And while you're there, make sure you grab some food as well from the vendors. And if you're lucky enough, the guys with the wood fire pizza will be there, and that is not something you should miss. This will be Jervis Bay now we're starting to head inland a little bit we're a little bit sad we actually really loved that destination we the locals were so friendly we loved the beaches we loved the bush walks we did what else everything the food the whales dolphins. dolphins oh my gosh so much but we definitely will be back there and it was actually so lovely to be there during the week when it was a little bit quieter as well because the weekends can be a bit busy so 
so highly recommend going during the week if you can get the time off. It is an amazing place. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications as we bring out a new video every week. Thanks for watching guys and we'll see you on the next adventure.